Hi everyone and welcome to this post-processing tutorial for the uh, sapling shot that got a fantastic reaction. Um, I'm really really humbled and also it's very nice to see that people have still a passion left for nature that they were so so I suppose moved by um, this lone beach sapling that it was just in the middle of a coniferous woodland and uh, this is a raw file in front of me. And I basically, I reset it. Uh, now, the, all the edits are still there. And this was the Lightroom edit. So when I had all my corrections and stuff done in Lightroom, this is what it looked like. And then when I took it into Photoshop, this is what we finished up with. And yeah, that was the that was the image finished. So just going back to the RAW file for a second, I do want to draw your attention to the history panel here. Now, these were all the edits that I applied in Lightroom to get to this stage. Okay, so... Because I reset the original file, just the, the edits didn't copy over. But just noticed all the work that I'd done in the HSL panel. Majority of this was all done in the HSL panel. Bar, small bit of highlights, work and a bit of cropping. Okay. And I'm always emphasizing the importance of your HSL panel. So if we went over to the actual edit and just had a look. So the luminance. I played around with the luminance. to Basically, I wanted to really increase the brightness of the background to create that kind of mystical look in the mist itself while not overpowering the tree itself um saturation wise i kind of desaturated blues and the hues i made the leaves on the beach just a tiny bit more red just to make them pop against the background but i'll go through all that this is probably my most technically successful shot i've ever taken um the focus was exactly where i wanted it on the leaves as a tree and you, as you can see it's tack sharp and if any of you have any doubts about using or adapting kind of old glass with new mirrorless cameras then don't be this is a 7300 nikon lens it's one of the g mount lenses and it's adapted with the ftz adapter to nikon z6 it's absolutely tack sharp and i did make one mistake in the video i said that it was i shot at iso 100 it's actually iso 800 and these are my settings up here ISO 800, 120 millimeters, f6.3, 130 of a second. And you can see there's a tiny bit of noise in the image itself. But that's easily taken care of. i just show you this here. I mean, look how clean that is. But, um, yeah, so the actual edit itself. First thing I'm going to do is get rid of this negative space up here. I'm going to go for a 4-5 crop. Bring that down a bit. That looks... Perfect. Now, I'm going to increase the background here, and by doing that, I'm going to really up the highlights. Now, the one thing I had to be really careful of was overexposing the bright parts here on the leaves, so I brought the highlights all the way up and did the whites as well. As you can see, it's already had to make a huge difference. We've created this nice atmospheric background, and I'm just keeping an eye on my HSL, or sorry, my Instagram, to make sure everything is, is clipping. Now, I'm also going to pump up the vibrance a bit. Down to the luminance. So the background is predominantly blues. And you can see if I go up and down in my HSL there, my blues. So just increase that again. I'm going to increase the greens because I want this area to all be bright. I'm also going to increase the oranges on the leaves just to make the leaves pop a bit here. Perfect. Now I'm going to saturate the blues a small bit and watch my hue and I'm going to make the greens a tiny bit more yellow not too much and I'm going to bring the oranges down towards the reds just to make these leaves a bit more copper looking okay perfect and okay, I'm actually going to look for actually going to go for a slightly um, cooler color temperature that really makes the um the blue background pop or sorry the red leaves pop against the blue background okay perfect small bit of noise reduction yeah i think we're ready to go into photoshop so edit in and edit in adobe photoshop and basically what i'm going to be doing in photoshop is dodging and burning art and effects bit of work in camera raw things like that so really and truly my goal for this image was to just make this tree isolate or stand out against the background. It's already doing that because of the mist and also because of the shadow depth of field. But we're going to emphasize that a bit more now. So 
first thing I'm going to do is duplicate my layer. I'm going to call that D and B. Touch and burn. Perfect. Now, I'm going to select my touch tool. Mid tones at about 10%. I'm going to dodge in a couple of areas of light here where the dapple light was just coming in from the morning. I'm going to go one big swoop like that, just in the center to create this kind of halo of light here in the center. One more time. And as you can see, I'm only kind of dodging and burning the areas where the light was hitting. Now I'm going to get my burn tool. Again, there's loads of different ways you can dodge and burn. Uh, do it whichever way you want. I'm just kind of burning in, the, I suppose, underneath the mounds. Create those kind of definition. Create that definition in the mounds themselves. Okay. As you can see already, what I've done is I've just created like definition here in the foreground. It gives it that 3D effect. I'm also going to do the sides there, one or two. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to shift control alt and E. Bring us to one layer. Now there's a, tr there's a twig here that I really don't want. So I'm going to clone that out. And it shouldn't be too hard. Zoom in nice and close. Don't be afraid to do that when you're cloning. Perfect. As you can see, just remove that distraction. Um, that's all the cloning I want to do. I don't mind. These tweaks here are fine. Okay. Next thing I'm going to do is add some Martin. Now, as you can see, it's too strong. The effect is too strong. So what I usually do is, I don't mind it in the background here, but I don't want it over the tree. So I'm going to put a white mask over that. I'm going to skip my paintbrush. I'm going to make it black. I'm just going to paint out the art in here from the areas of the foreground that are in focus. Some of this foreground is out of focus. That's fine. Just like that. Now, so with the art and effect applied, we've separated the tree from the background. So we have three or four different things which are separating this tree from the background. It's the shadow depth of field, it's the mist, it's the light created at the back here, and now the art and effect. So that's a perfect example of how your post-processing can complement your uh, in-the-field shooting technique. If that's a term, that's probably not a term. Okay, so shift Control alt and e again. We're nearly done. I'm going to make this smart object and I'll try and get it as close as possible to what I did the original edit. Sometimes it's it's hard to do that but okay so I'm going to go to filter and camera raw filter okay. I'm going to get a grad filter I'm going to pull it down from the top so I'm holding shift to make sure it comes down straight. I'm just going to Darken that area a tiny bit. And I'm going to do the same here. No, not too much. Just very, very gently. Perfect. I'm actually going to increase the exposure here around this tree. So I've drawn a radial filter over the tree. And I'm just upping the highlights. Small bit again. Keeping an eye on my... Highlights clipping here, as I said, don't want to overexpose the bright parts of the leaves. Just like that. Perfect. That's looking quite nice. Again, I'm going to reduce the temperature a small bit to give it that blue mystical look. Now, I think that blue is a bit too overpowering, so I can go into my color mixer 
and I can go to my HSL and I'll just desaturate that blue a small bit. Perfect. That's absolutely ideal. Again, I'm going to get my greens. I'm going to up the luminance in the greens. I'm going to make them just a tiny bit ye more yellow. Now I'm actually going to increase the saturation here. Make them pop a bit more. Perfect. Um, yeah, that looks good. Look how, look, look, just look at how it pops against the background. I mean, it's absolutely, it's, um, I'll find it hard to top this image now, to be honest. It's just, it's probably the sharpest image I've ever taken. So I'm really, really happy with it. And as you can see, it's really popping. The leaves are popping against the background. We're not after overexposing the bright parts here on the leaf itself. So, happy days. So I'm gonna actually I want to do one more thing there. Sorry, I'm gonna go back into so that's why I make it a smart object. See, I can double click on the camera raw filter and all my edits are still here. Um, I've spoken of that in tutorials before. I'm gonna draw one more radial filter around this. I'm gonna invert the radial filter and I'm gonna reduce the exposure. And as you can see, that's after putting a nice soft vignette around the image. Again, there's loads of different ways to do a vignette in Photoshop. That's how I like to do it. Okay, click OK. So, this is what we started with. This image we start with the light remitted. Bit of dodging and burning. Remove the twig. The Orton effect. Very subtle, but still there. And last but not least then, just like that. And I'm going to do one more thing. I'm going to shift control alt e again and i'm going to call this layer sharpen i'm going to go to filter other high pass and that looks okay i'm going to change the blend mode soft light now that this is quite harsh so as you can see it's too harsh and all i have to do is reduce the opacity of that high pass filter and basically what it does is it just adds a nice bit of sharpening just to bring out that detail a bit more. It's probably so subtle you can't even see it. But it's just something I like to do. And that's it. That is the image finished fully. Um, I think I got it close enough to what I had it originally. But um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Thanks very much for watching. And thanks for the great reaction to this shot. Stay safe. All the best. <laughs>